Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Sometimes being a commercial engineer, you have to do plumbing as well. You do heating, you do gas, you have to do air conditioning, electrics, wiring. Sometimes I get sent to electrical call-outs. I've been sent to call-outs where I need to work out why a phase has been lost in a building or an air conditioning problem, or I got it for a heating problem, it's actually an air conditioning problem. So as you may know, sometimes your fields cross over depending on what company you're working for. Some companies will be willing to do it, or some engineers will be willing to do it. I'm here for a leak. It's a leak that so happens to be on a urinal in a public toilet. So when the toilet is filling up, when the sensor is activated, this bowl, this urinal bowl is um, overflowing into the bucket. Let me just show you how I went about fixing this problem. side attach the below side let's have a little look a little look up there not sure what you can see I can't see much okay now we're gonna hoover this side See what we don't want to do is cut the seal around here, remove the urinal because there's no access to it. So I'm um, going to just try to unblock it without taking the thing apart. sure you wear gloves and wash your hands when working on any sort of waste even sometimes put a bag over things if you're working on a toilet and or um, throw away your clothes or wash your clothes if need be but don't walk into your house afterwards when working on certain waste um, waste like urinals and toilets be careful Might have to give this side a clean as well. Seems to be filling up as almost as quick as it's leaving, but this one is fine now. The one on the left. I may give the one on the right a bit of a hoover as well. All right, thank you for joining me. Hope that wasn't too boring for you. If you wanted um, commercial gas, but we have we also plumbers as well, electricians, air conditioning guys, and and whatever we can be as well. Alright, until next time, bye bye bye.